Hey everyone, Tom Seymour here from VHS Master Films. Um, so this is a little talk about um, independent film distribution. This may be of interest to anyone really who's looking to make a feature length film and then what to do with it after. Um, so I do have a new documentary coming out called American Expendables about direct video action stars. It's going to come out on um, uh, August 13th in just a few weeks. It's going to premiere on Prime first, and then it will be rolled out to other sites like uh, Tubi, Vandango, and possibly Apple TV. What is interesting is that you might be saying, well, you know, but I want my movie to come out on, you know, HBO or Netflix, you know, um, one of these top tier streaming sites. But the cool thing. One of the few cool things about media consolidation, is there's not very many, because some say that's actually what destroyed independent filmmaking to begin with, is that there's not that many media companies. So if you get your film out on Tubi, um, that's actually owned by Fox. So Fox is actually putting out your film. And for some people um, who... They're just a little, made a little horror film or something for Fox to put out their movie. That's kind of a big deal. Um, Pluto is another streaming site we're waiting to hear back from. Um, if Pluto puts out our movie, Pluto is owned by Paramount. So, and Paramount, um, although they're in front of financial troubles now, I think they just got bought by Skydance, I think. Um... That may be a source of pride who grew up watching Indiana Jones movies and stuff like that, right? Um, Mountain logo and all that. And then uh, Fandango at home, um, that's the streaming service. That's like an NBC Universal thing. So you could put out a little film and it can be distributed by these three major um, studios. But it's, things are different, of course, right? Because most of those film studios, I'd say pretty much all the film studios at this point, are not standalone enterprises. They have a parent company, that parent company is typically Silicon Valley, you know? Um, so essentially, Silicon Valley is, is essentially eaten the old film studios. And so that's where we are now. Um, so it sort of parallels the video store era when Blockbuster took over everything, kind of strangled the mom and pop video stores, and then strangled a lot of the independent filmmakers, which were actually actually had careers doing uh, direct-to-video films. So that's kind of happened through streaming, but streaming is a bit of a bust at this point. If you kind of look up like some of the uh, the troubles all these companies are having. Even Disney can't do streaming. Like, they're failing at it. And uh, um, a lot of those services, Paramount Plus, is a kind of failed enterprise. So, you know, it's become pretty uh, problematic. But I think if you just look at it in regard to... Uh, you're going to make your independent film and you're going to try to put it out through distribution, then um, there is a place for you to put out your film and it can get out to a larger audience. Millions of people can see your work and it does matter. So there are companies still out there doing it. Um, Trauma Entertainment will put out your film um, if it matches their catalog. Um, I think Full Moon is still doing distribution, um, possibly SRS video, and a number of other ones. So it can be done. Don't give up. Um, and who knows? Who knows what will happen if some of these streaming sites start to sort of um, fall apart or the studios can't make these expensive films anymore. They may actually have to rely on independent filmmakers like you and I for their content a little more.
So, all right. Take care.